Hello everyone, hi, welcome uh, to a little quick hit video just before I go ahead and play, start playing my practice rounds. Uh, well, I have played a practice round, but I'm probably going to play one more before I before I go ahead and uh, hit record on my t on my TGC rounds proper today. But I uh, just wanted to go through uh, my changed golf bag here because of. Uh, uh, I was recommended in the comments last week uh, after the uh, infamous red fast update hit that uh, basically what I'm doing right now wasn't gonna cut it. I'm playing with clubs with basically high distance and zero forgiveness and that's going to run me into major trouble. So I took a look at the bag that I had and I took a look at the, the stats and different clubs and stuff and I was like okay you're absolutely right. Uh, I'm going to have nothing but trouble if I stay the course. So I changed a couple of bags. I took one practice run last night and one practice run this morning so far. Uh, and I think I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to go down through it here. So first things first, we've got the Mizuno ST200 driver. Still got pretty decent distance, but we've got a lot more forgiveness than the old uh, Titleist TSI-3 that I was using. I think I might have been actually using the Bridgestone Tour BJGR as well at one point. Is that there? Or was I imagining things? Yeah, that was. I was also using that one for a while as well. And the, the uh, purple tier ST200 also. But I decided to step up to the gold tier one just because that little bit of forgiveness in lieu of distance, I think that's going to help me out. And I think Everyone in the comments is right to uh, to suggest you know going for more forgiveness drivers so that you know I have a better chance of hitting perfects. Uh, three wood uh, is the title of TSI three gold tier. Again, forgiveness is the order of the day here. I had been running with the purple tier one, which has slightly worse forgiveness but a little bit more distance. Or was it this? Or was it the regular TS three I was using? I can't remember which one I was using, but. Uh, I'm moving down to this one anyway, just because, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm, I have a better chance of hitting perfects than I do, than I did right now. Uh, we're going down to a four hybrid then, which is the Mizuno CLK hybrid gold tier. Again, not so great in the distance factor compared to other hybrids, or even the five wood, but forgiveness is the order of the day, and... One of the holes later on, I had been playing with a 3 iron and just going straight from 3 iron to 3 wood, but uh, I did run into a distance issue at one point, and because I'm not very good at partials, I've decided to go from the 3 iron up to a hybrid just to kind of close that gap a little bit between, between the 4 iron and the wood and just give me a better in-between, just to kind of cover my bases a little. Because uh, I think the hole was like two hundred and twenty something or two hundred and ten something yards, and it was a pain going from like one ninety five or whatever that was up to two thirty seven. And I'm like, okay, I need to change that and get something in the middle. Irons with the uh, Mizuno, uh, just the grey tier JPX nine twenty ones. I think they're pretty fine. I had been, I had been using I think these Mizuno ones, the JPX nine twenty one forged. So I'm sack I'm sacking a lot of distance and even swing plane control just to get more forgiveness so that you know I can I can be able to reliably hit those second shots and try and go for more greens and regulation because that's definitely something I'm, I've struggled with even before the update. So it might be a bit more beneficial to me. Now wedges wedges is interesting. Uh, for the pitching wedge, I'm using the Bridgestone Tour BXW1 gold tier. I had been just running with the Ben Hogan equalizers across the board, but I decided to get that a little bit more distance with the pitching wedge, because there's still a pretty high level of forgiveness there. I figured the extra bit of distance to close the gap between the wedges and the irons might help out a little bit. And then the rest of my wedges are still the Ben Hogan, ben Hogan equalizers, which I've been using pretty much since day one, and they, 
haven't really let me down that much. So I figured, well, I'm used to using them. I'm pretty happy with them, so I didn't need to change them. Anyway, that's been the golf bag update on, of course, the putter doesn't make much of a difference, but I'm just using the Wilson Staff South Side. I think it's just, yeah, it's the South Side. So, uh, that's my golf bag. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help any of you. I don't know whether the advice is worthwhile for anyone, certainly not in the higher tiers, but uh, down here in CCK, hopefully that's going to uh, serve me well. And slowly but steadily moving up in the rankings, though with this update that I anticipate a slide back down because I don't see myself doing very well. But you're welcome to join me. Uh, regular videos are going up the usual time this week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 6pm UK time, 1pm Eastern. Uh, Thursday and Friday, of course, only if we make the cut. If we don't make the cut, I'm sure I'll find something else to fill the time. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys out in the course. Have a good one.